Hi guys, Velian's Priest Tech here, VST. Welcome back, everybody. Today I'm gonna show you something rather interesting, not the usual type of stuff. Probably know about Google, probably know about Google Creative Lab. So there are a bunch of guys really creating some fun things, some interesting applications, some interesting functionality. I will be putting the link down below so you can check everything that they do. But what if there is a very easy way for you guys to check all the applications that are created by the Google Creative Lab? And I'm going to show you guys and teach you how to do this in one single step, right? It's very easy, right? So if you want to check all the applications developed by the Google Creative Lab, you just need to follow the rest of this video. It's very simple, don't need anything else. Right, first thing, open Play Store. So there is a one very easy way, guys, for you to do this. And it's just, okay, let me show you guys. You just need to take this code here, okay? Select it. I'm gonna put the code down below into the video description. You need to open the Play Store and you need to put it there, okay? This will then just see, give you all the applications only created by the Google Creative Labs, all right? So we have just a line, we have screen stopwatch, we have activity bubbles, we have unlock clock, post box, we have desert island, Vern the Himalayas, we have WeFlip, we have tunnel vision, we have space cape, we have morph, we have notable woman, meter, and they swap, nothing else and nothing more. And let's just see all the applications why by one. We start with the first one, okay? It's called just a line, draw anywhere with AR. So apparently this application can give you the option to draw, you know, with augmented reality. Should be a nice one, okay? You can check it out. Screen stopwatch. Again, it's a digital wheel bank experiment, okay? They just say like this. So this application apparently tells you how long you spend on your phone each day. But then of course, you know, you're gonna see this as a, as a, as a background in digital wheel bank, maybe not the best thing to do. Anyway, it's there and this is how it looks like. Third one, activity bubbles. And you've probably seen already, I think activity bubbles are gonna be pushed further into Android 11. But let's see what this thing can do. It's again, a part of the digital well-being experiment. So the activity bubbles, they can help you discover what your phone usage looks like in a day. Each unlock create a new bubble. The longer you stay on your phone, the bigger the bubble grows. So depending on what applications you use and how many times you unlock the phone, you're gonna get notifications that pretty much are gonna look like this. So if you're in for that, download the APK and just test it. Okay. Let's see now, fourth one, unlock clock. Again, a digital well-being experiment. So unlock clock helps you consider your tech usage by counting and displaying the number of times you unlock your phone in a day. So you see all these digital well-being applications are related to how much time you're spending on using your phone and exactly what type of things you do with it, okay? So I think this can really improve you know, your balance between normal life and then phone usage. Next one, Postbox. Postbox, a digital well-being experiment. This one, guys, is a very nice one. It kind of has the same idea as the Daywise application, which I promise you I'm gonna do a special video on Daywise, which is crazy good. I'm using it, I started using it from today. This actually helps you minimize distraction by holding your notification until a time that suits you. So the way it works is that you say, I don't want to receive any notifications from these apps in the next two hours, or I want to receive notifications from these apps, you know, only three times a day, and then I allow my phone to send me notifications only for this chosen app. It kind of like puts all the application in a batch and all the notifications for those applications that you don't want to see, you're not gonna see. It's kind of really, really useful, but again, I have a better app for this and I'm gonna be doing a special video about that. Desert Island, another digital well-being experiment. What can this do? Helps you find focus by challenging you to go a day without only your essential apps. Simply pick the apps that are most important to you, then give it a go for 24 hours. Will you like this? I'm really interested to see guys what you think about that in the comments down below. So please share your thoughts with me. Okay, see the next one, Vern, the Himalayas. Okay, exploring 3D Google Maps imagery of the Himalayas as a 500 foot Yeti. So you see, again, I think an augmented reality application where you play a very big Yeti and you can see this beautiful scenery. Why not? Okay, next one, we flip. Again, it's a digital well-being experiment. Okay, and we flip enables you to switch off from technology as a group to spend quality time together. Simply wait for everyone to join, then flip the switch together to begin your session. If someone in the group unlocks, the session will end and you'll be able to see how you did. <laughs> All right, a nice one again. Okay, we flip. Next one, tunnel vision. It's not available where I'm in my country, okay, but this is kind of providing you distortion filters to alter time and space. So this application lets you record your surroundings through a collection of transformative filters. If you've been a kid and you play with those toys, you know what I mean here, like the kaleidoscope and stuff like that. Next one here is called Spray Scape, okay? A perfectly imperfect VR-ish camera. 
It's a quick hack using the phone's gyroscope to take pictures on the inside of a 360 degree sphere. Just point your phone and tap the screen to spray faces, places or anything else uh, onto your canvas. I mean, yeah, this looks kind of interesting, guys. All right. Next one here we have Morph, it's again a digital well-being experiment. So we see a lot of these things created by the Google Creative Lab are around your digital well-being, you know? And it's kind of funny because Google are selling you, you know, the ads. And Google, of course, is like the big, uh, the biggest search engine out there. So it's kind of interesting that Google also, of course, wants you to, to have a nice you know, relation with your, <laughs> let's say, digital life. But of course, that's true. They sell you, you know, not only the ads, they sell you also the Pixel phone, but they also think about the way, you know, you are interacting with those things and they probably are also thinking in that regard to that you kind of like put some boundaries, okay, and avoid burnouts and addiction because this here is addiction. Okay, but what can Morph do? Let's see. Morph helps you stay focused by adapting your phone to what you're doing. Simply think about how you divide your time and choose the apps that are most important to you in each mode. Based on time or place, your phone will automatically adapt, giving you just the right apps at just the right time. Again, it's an interesting concept. We all have this like Zen mode. I never use this, by the way, in the Oxygen OS. Okay, a few more to go. Notable Woman, okay. The Notable Woman is an augmented reality experiment that lets anyone see 100 historic American women. All right, that's cool. If you just want to see some girl power there, you can just see, you know, all these, these women. That's, that's very nice. And I think I appreciate this efforts into that direction. Two more to go, Meter, okay. What can Meter do? It turns your wallpaper into a live dashboard, okay. This Android experiment is data-driven live wallpaper. It displays the battery level, wireless signal, and number of notification of your devices in a simple visualization, okay. The wallpaper cycles through three visualization with every unlock, and each time can be manipulated by tilting and moving the device. And one more here, we see LipSwap. What is LipSwap? Let's see what we can do with LipSwap. This Android experiment lets you switch parts of your face with other parts of your face. Talk through your eyes and look through your mouth and okay, that's cringy guys. <laughs> that's cringy, but someone someone can appreciate that, okay? So guys, I really hope that you're going to enjoy this little trick by putting this line of code there and just getting a very direct access to all the applications developed by the Google Creative Lab. So I really hope that this video is going to be interesting to you guys. If that's the case, hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel. I wanna thank everybody watching my videos, guys. And with that said, please have a nice rest of the day. VST over and bye.